I've made it to Denali. I'm working for a small company outside of Healy. And instead of living in my car like I was planning on, I'm actually going to be living in a yurt. So this door is pretty fucked. So when you open it, you kind of gotta bust it open. I always feel like I'm breaking into someone's house when I come in here. So this is my yurt. It's gonna be my home for the next like five-ish months. I'm not entirely sure how long. But yeah, I've got all my clothes hanging up. Well, not all of them, just some of them. Like all my shirts and stuff, and all my coats, and my bed, and here's my kitchen. I have a electric burner, and then I obviously have my uh, butane stove. I like to use both of them so that way I can actually cook two things at once. It's very nice. Yeah, I got all my, some spices and stuff over there. Here I've got my water. So I just have a five gallon bucket down there and then I have this water tank. I'm able to wash dishes and wash my hands and all that good stuff. And then over here I got my cooler. But yeah, there's some artwork that was already here. There's my heater and an electric heater that came with it. There's my couch, which isn't really a couch, it's actually a seat from a van. And I have this table. There's glass here so I just put it on top. Wasn't really sure what else to use it for. And yeah, this thing I'm planning on using to hang stuff up on. I'm planning on getting back into art. I'm going to do some more drawing and try to get better at painting. It's kind of a window. Like, it's actually just a hole. But I put a screen over it and made it into, like, the ugliest window in the world. I have another window over here I made out of a hole. It's conveniently about the same shape as the the wall, I guess? The frame. That's what it's called, a frame. This thing, I really like. The artwork and the candle thing was already here, but I found some spray paint in the yurt, so I just decided to paint the table and the candles so they'd match the artwork. I think it looks pretty cool, and I'm obviously using it as a bookcase. I've stayed in the yurt two nights so far, and while it is really nice, there are definitely some bad things about it too. The main thing I really like about it is the space. There's so much space in there compared to my car. I can actually walk around, I can exercise, I can stand up, you know. And I can also have people come over, which I am not really able to do in my car. The second thing I really like about the yurt is how private it is. You actually have to walk to it, you can't just drive up to it. But there is a walk-in campsite right next to it, so there's a possibility I might have a neighbor. Yeah, even if I do have a neighbor, I'm still away from the campground, so I don't have to deal with having, like, 20 neighbors. And the other thing I really like about the yurt is I have electricity and water. Having electricity is nice because I can just charge all my stuff without having to turn my car on. I can actually have an electric heater. I could even have like a microwave if I want to do, but... Mm. And the bad things. There's quite a few bad things. The main bad thing is there's mold. There's black mold all over the ceiling. And it's on the walls, on the floor, on the bed. It's just everywhere. So there's a possibility I can get sick. It is basically a tent though, and there's tons of air always coming in. So... I'm hoping it'll be okay. What? Another con about the yurt is the roof leaks, which is why there's mold. But yeah, it leaks like crazy by the door. So when I woke up, there's just this huge puddle of water by the door. And a lot of other places around the edge also leak, so that kind of sucks, but... It's not the end of the world. It's not a huge leak. They're just like little drips. And it's very, very cold in the yurt at night because it's basically just a tarp on a frame. 
So there's no insulation whatsoever. And there are a lot of holes in the tarp, mostly in the ceiling, also some in the walls. So a lot of air comes in, which is a good thing for the mold, so I have less chance of dying. But it's really, really fucking cold. The last annoying thing about the yurt is it's very windy over there usually. And the tarp flaps like crazy. So it's very loud. And there's a plastic lining on the inside of the roof. So the wind a lot of times will just rip that right off. And then I have to staple it back up. So. But yeah, that's the bad things and the good things about it. Not all good things. That's for sure. Well, I hope you liked my yurt tour. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, all that good shit.